guys welcome to my channel today we are going to create this called tri bike or scooter which you like to say it so we will start from the modeling then we'll jump in shading and material setup we will do UV unwrap of the seat for this realistic leather texture setup and later we will do lighting of the scene i mean this cool scene lighting you can see this multi light effect on our trial bike and later we will do render of this amazing model scene so let's get started in blender start with a simple plane tab into edit mode merge at center face it on y-axis so what we are going to do is that we will create basic outline of our scooter by simply extruding the vertices just create a basic outline of the body part later we will do final adjustment on it so just align it as this will be our body part layout so just keep as extruding and aligning Let me add modifiers on it, meter modifier and subdivision modifier. Okay, so you can see that now we will have, now we have a basic outline of our body part. scale it so basically what i'm going to do is now that uh, i'm going to create the wheel first so we will have a good idea of our rickshaw body structure so let's add a circle add vertices count to 100 and let's create front wheel of our scooter let me copy the modifiers from our body by simply plus ctrl l and then copy modifiers Okay, so let me show you the cool trick to how to select the edge in checker style means by leaving the very next edge of the selected edge and we will create the cool tire shape of our wheel. Hold the shift button from your keyboard, select the first edge and second edge press plus from your keyboard. You can see this will be keep selecting the very next edge of the selected edge. Press the alt S, we will create our tire shape. Increase the subdivision, level to the 3. Let me add the edge loop, move it on axis. Let me add another edge loop. Okay, select the first edge loop and move it on and just move it on axis. Again, add edge loop and we have created our tie shape. Just scale it on x axis. just scale it a little bit okay so you can see that we now have a very rough idea of our body part so just let me align it so i'm just speeding up the process now so because uh, i will just align it and you can easily set on at the end of this speedy process okay we are done so let me uh, apply the modifiers just uh, select the very last edge and press f to make a face and keep F to grease the faces. At the last, I will delete the vertices and again I will align it a little bit. Try to give them equal space. Okay, so we are good to go select the faces now press i for the insert and alt d to extrude the along faces normals just scale it a little bit on x-axis 
now apply, add the subdivision modifier select the outer edge duplicate it and support it this will be our curve convert it to curve increase the depth and shade smooth and add a subdivision on it shade it smooth and increase the subdivision level so here we have our basic rough shape of our body part now let me mirror the wheels duplicate the modifier apply it on y-axis go into tool affect only origins now move it on x-axis and just scale it a little bit now i'm going to create the cover of our front wheel so just follow the same steps with me tab into edit mode and now just delete the lower part which we don't need So our wheel cover is completed now we are going to create the shape that connect the wheel with the upper cover just follow the same steps with me So our shape part is completed and let me apply the mirror modifier on it. Apply the transform and on X axis and we are good to go. Okay, so just let me adjust the upper cover. So we will create the uh, rim shape from that cover shape. Let me show you how we can do that easily. We have to apply the modifiers first okay now tab into edit mode and select the complete edge loop just duplicate it and separate it and now select it and convert it to curve now increase the depth shade smooth and 
apply subdivision modifier on it and we are good to go all does to control the size okay so our front part of the trial bike is completed now we will do some a uh, little bit adjustments of the parts okay so we are good to go now we will create the steering of our trial bike take this uh, circle with 12 vertices count and follow the same steps with me Okay, so our steering part is completed. Now I am going to create the back part of the tri bike. Okay, I'm just going to stop this part here and uh, let me just first fill the inside shape of our body first.
let me just first make the inside part of the our base body part I'm speeding up the video from this shape as you don't have to create this shape because I will recreate this shape later and you can follow the rest tutorial same as it is. This is good to go. Now I am going to create the seat part. Just follow the same steps with me. Okay, so our seat part is completed. Now we are going to create the side shapes.
Okay, so our side part is also completed now. Let me just select the center part and just make a bump here, like a bumpy shape. Edge loop here, and now we are good to go. Now I'm going to add here, uh, add here a little bit detail. Select the front face and duplicate it. And separate it now. Tab into edit mode and just make it upside and downside. Now uh, add add some edge loops there. Insert faces individual and now extrude it on y axis now adjust it on the uh, that shape that it will look like it's a, a bumpy shape on that part okay it's looking good now now let me just add the text you can add here your own name or your own text and just going to put my channel name on that text and i will set it on that back shape back bar okay so i'm going to use the fun niagara uh, you can easily find it on google and if you couldn't just let me know i will share in the comments Okay, so our text part is also completed. Now I will create the part which connect the seat and bottom part. So that is a very uh, simple shape. Uh, let's just cover it first and just follow the same steps with me. And one more thing, uh, these parts, especially the bottom back parts, this will not be showing in my render. So I will not do specific materials on it. I will apply the simple body material which will I apply on the bike body so I will apply the same material on these parts also and just going to create these parts for you if you will take the renders from backside or other views Okay, so our this part is also completed. Now we are going to create the other second part of the backside.
Okay, so uh, this shape is also completed. Now I will get the simple bar shape on bottom of this part. So I'm just going to duplicate the face of this shape and just separate it and apply the array modifiers on it. And first I will just make it a smaller little bit. Just follow the same steps with me. Everything seems good to me. Now I am going to create the mirrors on this string.
okay so our mirror part is also completed now i'm going to create a tiny shape on the front field cover that will give a good look on the simple part it seems to me very simple uh, i mean the empty front wheel cover part so i'm just going to fill it with a simple shape just follow the same steps with me Okay, it seems good to me. Now I'm going to create the very first shape on the front side of the uh, trial bike body. Just take the simple plane and follow the same steps with me. Okay, so that part is also completed. Now I am going to create the headlights. So for that I will take the circle and just follow the same steps with me. All right, so our headlights is also completed. Now let me see. Okay, so let me first make the very tiny shape uh, like screw. So I will place it on the side shape of the front wheel to just cover the emptiness on that side shape. So follow the same steps with me. okay so our that shape is also completed just let me check okay so the first part 
it seems to me very straight so i will just bend it so it will give me a good look so if you want to do it you can follow the same steps with me or if you can if you want to skip that part so you can skip because it's just not looking good to me so i'm just uh, going to give complete part a little bit bent to the uh, back side all right uh, let me just delete this part as i said earlier i will delete this part and recreate it so i'm just going to delete and just recreate the shape from the simple face so just follow the same steps with me okay so our that shape is also completed just let me adjust it a little bit just align it properly so it will not view from the front side just move it backward a little bit now adjust that shape also okay that's good just uh, okay so just let me uh, increase the uh, faces from the front side also just scale it a little bit let me do it more okay just like that vertices and move it a little bit okay so select the straightening part and move it a little bit back side Okay, so now I'm going to just duplicate the faces from the this shape and I will create a new shape downside of the steering to just give a detailed look. Okay, so we have completed just give the final touches where we like to add some more details just add a edge loop to make it more edgy loop okay I'll just set the this first shape as we have moved the front part to the back side now we will scale that part to the z-axis to 
join that ship with the front wheel. Move the headlights also to the back side. Okay. Let me just decrease the scale on x axis of these two shapes. Do the same with the seats. Okay. Move the text a little bit. Rotate it. I'm just going to increase the depth to make it more bold. Also for this shape. Okay, so let me just delete that uh, that part and apply the mirror modifier on it. Let me just move it on the axis, move that part on so on x axis, and move it also this on x axis also. I'm just going to create a more pen look on this. Okay, so just check out the complete model where we need to add some details or uh, need some adjustments just let me uh, adjust it a little bit okay so now we are good to go i think our model part is completed now we will do shading and branding in the next part please support the channel and support me by subscribing my channel and liking the video also don't forget to check out my other tutorials once again don't forget to subscribe the channel take care